Hello my dear followers. Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to be informed about new videos. Dylan cannot stand Baron's beautiful speech and her eyes fill with tears. When Baron says, just be happy, Dylan says, I have never been this happy in my life and they hug. When Heaven comes to pick up the Lady Sabiha, while she is talking and laughing with Fireit at the door of the mansion, Ghoul sees them and comes to them. Later, Heaven asks Ghoul, can we make coffee with your beautiful hands? Fireit doesn't want to drink. Ghoul leaves them saying, no, no, I'll do it. Heaven tells Fireit to go to the gazebo, but Fireit becomes uneasy. When Dylan comes to Sabiha's room, she sees that she is getting ready and gets upset. Miss Sabiha promises, don't be sad, we found each other in the end and I will never make you sad from now on. Then he says I promise you that I will make Baron forgive me too. Ghoul brings coffee to Fireit and Haven and spills it on Haven. Fireit tries to sort out the situation, but gets angry at Ghoul Haven's words that such things do not affect me and leaves them. While Harun and Sebdet are preparing the grill at the restaurant, Sebdet checks Harun's mouth, but Harun says he doesn't have a reverse gear and starts making a salad. While returning from market shopping in Sevri, she tells Yasmin that it is difficult to find another job, come, don't be stubborn, go back to the restaurant, Yasmin leaves saying that's enough, don't insist, I have other job interviews, I'm going there. Miss Sabiha thanks Baron for hosting her and Baron promises that he will convince my family and from now on you will not be separated from your daughter. Hassan approves by saying, of course, of course. Heaven comes and Miss Sabiha leaves after hugging Dylan and saying goodbye. When everyone leaves, Dylan hugs Baron, thanking him for everything and wishing him good luck. While Ghoul is working nervously in the kitchen, Fireit comes and tries to please her. At that moment, when Miss Cater comes, Fireit says, Hello, Sister Cater, I was going out too, and leaves. Miss Cater realizes that something is going on between them and asks, What happened to Ghoul? But Ghoul dismisses it as nothing. Ms. Azade tells Hassan that Fireit may have secretly married Ghoul and asks him to get clear information immediately. Ms. Sabiha goes to rest at her home. When Heaven comes to him, he explains how we will get rid of Savahir. I thought I could handle it on my own without any support from Baron, but I don't have the luxury of making another mistake for my daughter, who is crazy about this man. While Dylan is in bed working on the computer, Baron comes to her. While Baron is lying down trying to sleep, Dylan asks if he is uncomfortable, can he go to the study, Baron says no, don't spoil his mood. Fireit comes to the kitchen again and brings her her favorite coffee and manages to soften her up by saying let's drink it alone in our secret place while everyone else is asleep. While Dylan continues to work, Baron cannot sleep. He gets up and sits down. He says to Dylan, we will wake up early, if you finish it, you should go to bed. When Dylan asks, did I do this while you were working? Baron says it is not like that and Dylan says, this is important for my mother. Spouses should adapt to each other. Baron says okay and lies down again, but he just stares with his eyes open. When Dylan offers to turn off the light, Baron tries to turn it off himself and they get closer. Dylan tells Baron again that he has work to do. In the morning, Baron wakes up and forces Dylan to wake up, saying he will go jogging. Even though Dylan asks him to sleep a little more, Baron forces him to get up, because he hasn't seen his wife for a few days. They go for a run in the morning and have a good time and joke around. Lady Cater, who catches Fireit and Ghoul together in the kitchen, asks when will you tell them? When Fireit says, we tried, Sister Cater, but a lot of things got in the way, Ms. Destiny says whatever happens, whatever happens, and goes to work. While Ghoul gets bored and her face falls, Fireit gives her morale and says, don't worry, I will talk to my uncle Kudret and get his mind, while Ms. Azade listens from the door. Harun comes to the breakfast planned by Sevri and Sevdet and they all sit together. While he works alone in the garden and drinks coffee, Dylan asks Baron to freshen up the coffee. 
While Sabiha Hanem and Haven are doing company research to increase security, Sevahir arrives. While they have an unpleasant conversation with Sevahir, Dylan brings the reports he prepared with Baron. Sevahir says, what a coincidence, we were just talking about you, and says to Baron, get well soon. When Dylan hugs his mother and asks how are you today, Miss Sabiha hugs her and says, I'm better, and they all sit down together. When Firet wants to talk about the Rose issue with Mr. Kudret, Hassan and Ms. Azade play games to prevent them from talking. Sevahir watches the dialogues between Sabiha Hanem and Dylan with rapt attention. Sevahir tells Dylan that a lady like you should not stay too far away from the business world. Ms. Sabiha says yes, Mr. Sevahir, I hope we do not keep a business person like you from working. When Sevahir asks, have you found the person who did this? Baron says, we will find him and he will pay the price for it. Sevahir gets angry and warns him not to pay a higher price for the damage. Baron says the price will be big, there is no escape from it. Then, addressing Sevahir Dillon, he tells the story of the wolf and the fox. It tells the exact opposite of the story told by Baron Sevahir and they become opposites. Sevahir asks for permission and gets up, says Miss Sabiha. They are such a harmonious couple, they are radiating happiness, may God keep them apart, and leaves. While there, Baron receives a phone call from Firet, informing him that Chihan has found new images. While Firet and Chihan are in the study, Ghoul brings them tea and asks if you were able to talk when Chihan came out. When Firet explains that he cannot talk again, he gets upset and leaves the room. Dylan sees the awards that Miss Sabiha has received and asks how she managed to be so successful. Miss Sabiha briefly summarizes her life as follows, After meeting Mr. Rustam at the hospital, my life changed and everything happened thanks to him. When Harun thinks that Severi made the sausage he ate at breakfast and praises him, Severi says Yasmin made it. Severi gets upset when Harun eats the pancake this time and criticizes her for making it by Yasmin, saying it is too bad and too oily. When Yasmin puts coffee instead of tea, they argue and Harun leaves the table. After Dylan leaves Miss Sabiha's house and tells her how successful her mother is, Baron says, you are a very successful woman too. When Baron's eyes suddenly wander, Dylan asks what happened. Baron expresses his fear that nothing could happen to you, Chihan, or my family. Dylan supports us by saying, we don't live in fear, look at my mother, how she made big mistakes because of her fear. When she overcame her fear, everything started to get better, don't worry, we will defeat our enemies together. Baron sends a message to Dylan and calls him to his study. Miss Sabiha takes her gun and says to Haven, if you are ready, we are going to visit the repatriation and they leave. Dylan says in the message you said something important happened, I came running. Baron gifts Dylan a briefcase and a computer. And then he gives permission to Dylan by telling him that he can work with his mother. You can share your valuable opinions in the comments section. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications for more videos. See you in the next video. Take care of yourself. Goodbye.